Record, man. What's your name, bro? Marlon Jackson. Marlon Jackson. Marlon oh, just Jackson. like the dates from the Jackson Five. That's like Marlon. <laughs> I was here first. Oh, okay. You were here. I wasn't named after him. And you said you said you're 62, I'm 62 years young. Old. And I never had a job. I just go live where there's an economy. Wow. And consumers, us. You know, that's what you need if you have a product or service. Somebody who can buy it. So you weren't looking for a check or a job. Yeah. You was looking for a consumer. I'm, and a, I'm looking for some money. Mm, all right. So is, and you learned at an early age. That, that you don't need a job to get money. Well, I saw my dad, who was a strong Leo man, worked at the steel mill, and what happened was they laid everybody off when the Vietnam War went over, and all these men became punks and weak, and you know, the mm. women were taking care of them. And I said to wow. myself, man, I'm not going to give nobody a chance to fire me. Wow, wow, you know, wow. And, and I'm not going to do it, because it broke my heart to see my dad, you know, become this... Cause all he knew was steel. He didn't know anything. They didn't mm. train him to do anything else. And uh, and he died early at 55. I mean, it really. Oh man. It, that's when the wino got started. Cause all these guys who got laid off would just sit around drinking wine and playing checkers and you know what I'm saying? Right. Wow. And, and just giving up on life because they didn't know what else to do. Wow. 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 So for you, being an entrepreneur wasn't just about money. It was about preserving your manhood. Yeah, man. I'm not a good man. I can't work for nobody. I love you. I can't have a boss. All right, man. I, I love it. My kids got something to do. I want to go see it. I don't need to go to nobody to ask for permission. Right on, right on. So, do you feel like? Did you feel like the majority of the the men you know have that mindset? Do you think it's the opposite that the majority? Well, I think we mess our little man up because we tell them to get a job. We tell them we need to work, and those are slave terms. We need to tell our young kids you need to make some money. Mm. You know, so their minds will open up and they can start innovating because it's hard to get a job when ten million people are applying for the same job. Mm. And we do these to our kids, man. And these kids almost like, I'd rather go smoke some weed. Wow, wow. <laughs> they try to compete with a bunch of everybody with applications standing in line for two or three days. You know what I mean? And wow, They could wow. have been using that same time to go out here and wash windows or clean cars. I know a guy at the car wash up here makes $400 a day. Mm. He just sits out there. People come who don't, consumers, who don't want to clean their own car. Wow. And he makes about $20 a car, and he's making $400 a day. He don't have no overhead, he, you know. But you just got to think, make money so that we can free our mind. Wow, wow. Because work and job are slave words. That's what mm. slaves do. Mm. <laughs> you mm. know what I'm wow, saying? man, you preaching. It's funny. Did, did you did you catch the speech I gave? No, I didn't. I that, that's there. what's funny. You yeah. you didn't hear the speech. I was talking about this, but you didn't hear preaching. But I know Ron. I'm his personal assistant. So uh, oh, okay. You, Ron's from Oakland. And I'm from Philly. I'm Malcolm X. He's Black Panther. <laughs> so, you know, so wow. So we get it, man. Yeah, we just try to get everybody else to get it. Well, you preaching to me, man, and 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 I learned a lot of my manhood from you know the big brothers like yourself yeah, that yeah. that teach me. You know what manhood really looks like. We well, don't. I'm, I'm, if you don't oh, mind, please. Me, I do taxes, and the people who work for all these years, man. By the time they get retired, they're so beat up from working all them years, and they ain't making as much money. And they now they're like the slave that you said you're free now. <laughs> you know, and then you tell the retired person you're free now. You ain't gonna work no more. Man, they gotta figure out what to do with ten hours a day. Wow! Wow! And and, and no that ain't easy. And no skill in terms of how to make their own money. How to do something else? Wow, so man! Then they end up working at Walmart. All right, but I'm gonna let you get that call, man. Thank you, James. brother.